I'm a geologist because primarily I really love working outdoors and this is a field that allows you to do your research in the field more often than in the lab actually. We look at a lot of uh, localities and at each outcrop I ask the students to tell me about the structures they see, what does that tell us, so I have them practice their skills that they may have learned in lab. I would almost expect things to grow on top of it, you know, it's a hard... Usually what I'm looking at is sedimentary rocks, so we're looking at layered rocks, and so those were deposited in some ocean basin or um, in an estuary maybe. Sediments build up in piles, and then we look at uh, what's in those piles and what's their, their geometry, the grain size, the fossils that they contain, all of that gives us information about the environment that the rock was deposited in, and we can reconstruct Earth history from these kinds of rocks. My research interest is in how the, the organisms are preserved and what that can tell you about the environment. Uh, high energy, low energy, hypersaline, all these things can be gleaned from how the, the fossil is preserved. It is a highly interdisciplinary science. It draws on chemistry, it draws on physics, it draws on biology, and puts it all together to answer questions about the natural world and, and particularly about the earth and the history of the earth. And so for a student with environmental concerns, uh, geology is a great way to tackle those questions. Understanding why coal is where it is, why we are dependent right now on fossil fuels. Fossils, first off, help you understand how old the rock is. It, it allows you to date the rock. And then it also, if there's an organism that was buried with those sediments, that, uh, that organism can tell you a whole lot of information about the environment. How did it live, first of all? Was it something that crawled around on the seafloor or walk on land? How did it feed? What did it, what did it require to uh, live its life? tells you something about the ecosystem and part of the ecosystem that might not even be preserved. If you have dinosaur tracks and, and no plant fossils, well, a dinosaur was probably eating something. And if it was an herbivore, you would expect there were plants in the ecosystem. So lots of missing information can be gleaned from the kind of animals they are. The real joy of teaching at Oberlin is being able to work closely with students that are excited about the topic. They are deeply interested in questions of the earth and, and, and their environmental awareness is, is uh, very strong. Being able to work with smart and talented students that have great curiosity has been very rewarding. What geology does try to do is not only get all students some kind of field experience, but we quickly try to bring them into our research programs. And these students are ready for that. Their curiosity and their talents make them ready by, say, sophomore year even, to be productive members of our own research teams. And so uh, they become colleagues by the time they're seniors. And that part's really wonderful. You hate to see them go. My research is uh, uh, trying to figure out what the fossils can tell us as, as far as environment of deposition. And to study that, I go to modern environments. We put dead things on the seafloor and let them rot, basically. And we uh, deployed a bunch of stuff in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean in 1993, and it's been sitting there ever since. And we go back periodically, many of them very deep, down to 600 meters deep where it's dark. To uh, pick this material up, we have to use submersibles and scuba. And every time we go and do these collections, students go with me, um, they get a chance to ride to the bottom in a submersible. And they're full members of the research party, which is uh, has six other faculty from other institutions, and they get to work with graduate students and faculty. And most of the students that have gone with me have gone on to become geologists in one shape or another, and most of them on to graduate school. They're busy smelling rocks. What we thought was three this morning was actually four.